Hey guys, welcome back to another YouTube video with Tank Reaper today on World Warships console. That's right, we are covering the Italian Tier 1 Cruiser, the Nineo BXO. Oh my gosh. These names are probably going to get hard to pronounce here, guys. I'm probably going to butcher some things, and I'm sorry if I am. Let's go over to the captain. The uh, captain does have a burn it down, just like normal. I have full speed ahead, sponge, and clear steer clear um i mean because this is a towing cruiser maybe pick this one or maybe this one to i am not insane <laughs> which is some weird torpedo speed though it will be 10 kilometers better but we'll see how good he goes i'll let you guys know about that but let's also talk about some other stats of this italian cruiser it gets HG shells, normal reload time, 11.9 seconds, max HG shell damage, 1,700, fire setting chance, 6.5%, and firing range, 10 kilometers, and gets good damage control party. The survivability, which is the hit points, is 16,600, 16, I'm sorry for that guys. The artillery gets 120 meter, 50, and solo dough, 1909, 8 guns. AA gets 40 mm 39 victors turnia 2 out of 1 times 1 well, yeah, I'm sorry for that guys I met the main batteries with the firing range is 10 kilometers reload time is 11.9 seconds and 180 turning time is 22.5 seconds HE shell damage is around 1700 firing range is 6.5 and now the AA guns is 40 uh, 40 meter 39 uh, Victor Turinia 2.2 2 times 1. It has average damage is 11 and firing range is 2 kilometers. Max speed is 27.3 knots. Turning circle radius is 480 meters and rudder shift time is 4.7 seconds. And they consume it. Now let's talk about the armor of the ship. The bottom is 10 the 4 end plating is 6 the 4 end deck is also 6 the bottom is also 10 aft end plating is 6 and aft end deck is also 6 the coin tower bottom is 25 coin tower sides is 100 oh wow that's pretty good <laughs> coin towers top is 50 the side plating is 6 the top side plating is also 6. The gun sides are 30. And that's basically it for the gun sides. Huh. The outward ship is 6. The plating is 6. The decks is 6. Which I guess makes kind of sense. The outward ship is also 6. And also the visit. Citadel offward ship is 6. Oops, not bad. The Citadel bottom is 10. The Citadel deck is 38. Citadel offward ship is 6. The Citadel armor deck sloping is 38. And the Citadel plating is also 6 meters, which is below the bar line, as you can see there. And that's it with the armor. And I think that's it with the uh, ship review in the port, guys. And I guess I'll catch you guys on the battlefield. When we can find a battle, I'll see you guys there. See you then. So, guys, we're back in our first game with the Nanyo Apollo. Uh, 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 Nanyo BXO. I'm probably gonna butcher that name so badly into this video. And any other ships. <laughs> I'm probably gonna butcher the name so badly, there, guys. But we're on our first game on Polar. Poor, a polar. I don't know what I'm trying to say. Polar. There's actually a uh, TV show I think it's called Polar with Will Smith in it. I could be wrong, but you know, it is what it is. What's in your little Don't know what you're saying. Well, I kind of do. I kind of do know what he's saying there, guys. He's actually saying bow stations, uh. But. I don't speak Italian. I'm sorry. 
uh, for any of my Italian viewers. I'm not going to try to say I do speak a language. <laughs> I bet I'm going to butcher some of these uh, names that both the Italians and all the other nations are going to give, have in, have in these videos. So, yeah. Wow. I, maybe there's only like maybe one nation probably not really going to butcher too much. It's probably, well, not one, two. The British and the Americans, but that's not. There might be a few other ships that might not butcher either, like the Rosa first, but that's more likely <laughs> on down the road we're talking about those ships. Well, we're just playing here to to get into a battle, expecting to find some enemy ships here. I do get spotted right here and I do spot him and this guy's not really paying attention to me I don't think so I fire at him and he doesn't shoot back which is pretty good I, I mean I fired my first salvo at him did a thousand damage spot someone else to so shoot my first second salvo at him only got one hit on him one is team I think it is trying to shoot me right there and I am undetected now I thought I could shoot this guy from here but well some of my shots went into the island and the others don't hit they're just too distant or accidentally ran into this uh, teammate Didn't know how close he was, but uh, at least there's no uh, team damage in this game. I hit this uh, that Japanese cruiser three times, my main batteries. Went to my show's reload to so I could front shoot at this French cruiser. As any of my shots hit, actually two of them this, and I am getting hit by a single shot. That tells me someone's over there, which I don't see him yet but let's give him time fire another salvo at him I hit with three shots those enemy ships are over there trying to shoot me and there the uh, enemy ship is the Chungkyum Chungkyum uh, I did a video on that Japanese cruiser so if you want to go check that out firing at the Frenchie still I did him with three shots. Went to my guns reload so I could shoot at that Pan Asian cruiser, but sadly he gets behind the island before I could ever even get a single shot out on him. But there's the Japanese cruiser coming right broadside from the island. I did him with two shots. Sadly, that's what many shots I got on him. Hoping my guns reload before I could ever get another several off, which they do, and I do get several off. And I do get two shots hit that I penetrated with a fire. I bet he probably put that fire out already. My guns still won't reach for that uh, Pan Asian cruiser back there, sadly. So I'm trying to fire this Japanese cruiser again. He's the only guy that's actually in range for my guns. And I did get one shot actually dead pantry on him. Remarkable. Looking at that teammate. Or one of our teammates actually got killed. And this wasn't looking pretty good. It had a lot of failures, which that's right there. Actually hit the eyelid. Sorry for that, guys. And trying to see if I could find him. I do find his ship. He's going forward very slowly. So I fire several because one of my teammates is hitting him pretty good. I caught fire, but also killed him with four shots. Didn't even think I needed those four shots to kill him. It looked like his engines might have been knocked out. If you've seen the sparks ones. Uh, funnels you could tell his engine was being was knocked out 
or the steering I think I guess you could say engine I guess I see these two enemy ships over here I'm trying to take our well going towards our cap circle so I'm coming over here trying to help my two teammates over this way hey girl let's help them out let's give them a little bit of help it's the Novoski and the French Joran Joran oh my gosh these ships are going to drive me crazy so I aim a little bit more forward because that low profile ship is very hard to hit from distances and I was not surprised none of those shots actually hit and did anything but that Frenchie is trying to take blind shots at me over here but he missed with both of them so yeah and I was trying to cap our base now it's just me and our teammate left and I try to fire this Russian cruiser the Novosk Novosk but all my shots hit the island he went into cover with no one shoots me back while I've been spotted this whole time looking we'll see where our my other teammate is I go undetected I fire expecting some shots to hit something over there but nothing hits but also my last teammate is very low in hit points I kind of don't want to rush in to the cap circle that fast <coughs> drive with that guys uh, because well you know it's reasons of being hit well wait there's the white moth white moth white myth I shoot my first level get four hits on him I start turning the new shots was gonna come while my t gun turns got knocked out I repaired it I fired a second salvo at that way moth and I'm getting hit by the cruisers right back there I fire one shot right there now I fire a full salvo at him I keep on getting hit and I call a fire on that way moth the British cruiser so I fire another salvo and I'm trying to weave and dodge get another kill fire two shots of that Frenchie and I keep on weaving and turning and stuff I do reset the capture points this Novosk actually is sitting in the open so I start shooting at him because his guns are just very lethal call fire I think he put the fire out yep he did I fire shot another shot out at him again I hit him again with five shots he's starting to reverse he's starting to take the hint that I'm shooting at him as he is shooting with me, at me and I got two shots with a high caliber reward they just want me dead do they but he's no longer in range for my gun so it's this Frenchie is left to actually try to shoot but he's not really shooting me I don't know why but I reset the cap again and I fire at him again I'm trying to see if I can kill him there's only two teammates left these two are the only two but I'm only 1000 hit points so if I rush in there they're both going to kill me so I fire another salvo at that Frenchie I run to the map border and I got one damaging shot into him and I start reversing they think I'm going out the map border you probably can't but um, I have to wait till I reverse and they're still tapping looking around see if I can see them if they pop up on the radar but yeah I don't think they are going to come off hiding they're going with the cab so they can win this battle two versus two me and my teammate is very low in hit points they could actually kill us but to be honest it's a smart thing to do what they're doing 
I mean, they both got good bit of hit points, but doesn't mean that we can't kill them if we focus our fire on one guy. But my teammate's way over there at their cap circle, so it kind of makes sense what they're doing. Though, this even makes more sense. What like there's the French. He's out of my gun range, sadly, due because I was at the map border. I couldn't reach him in time, but my teammate got killed. I'm like, oh boy. <clears throat> so I was going towards the cap circle, hoping that I could spot the French again so I can eliminate him and also try to get a little bit dis <coughs> Try for that, guys. Distance. Or at least try to catch them both on each other's, like, one at a time. That's what I'm trying to say. I guess I should have said that at the beginning with. So I'm just looking to see if I can see that French. Because I know he went beyond that island. I'm not sure where he's at. I'm trying to see. I'm um, coming across this first island. Being very careful because that Russian cruiser can actually kill me. Yeah, I mean, they both can with their firepower combined. But right there's the Russian cruiser. I thought he was in the cap circle, but he wasn't. So I did fire at him, but those shots missed. I'm getting going to be sorry, that uh, French cruiser is starting to shoot at me because I'm spotted. I fire at this guy again. I did get one damaging shot on him. He's starting to turn. I did spot the French cruiser. And rise would shoot at him. I fire over that way where his last spot, but they capped before I could even stop the capture point and get any other kills. But that was a pretty good game. If you guys did like this video, please press the thumbs up button and subscribe to the channel, guys, if you want to. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye for now.